Inside this building, a group of researchers are plotting to force the digital camera industry to be more friendly to hackers. The Stanford group are building their own camera from scratch to show the benefits of making photographic equipment easy to experiment with. Lead designer Andrew Adams says that although ugly, the Franken camera is in many ways more powerful than a conventional camera. So the Franken camera is not a consumer camera. It's huge and bulky and heavy. Uh, it's primarily for developers and researchers so that they can test their ideas. Uh, they can't unfortunately test their ideas on regular DSLR cameras because those things aren't programmable at all. But what we're hoping is that with the Franken camera project we'll provide a bunch of compelling examples for why camera manufacturers should open their platforms and enable third party applications and app stores even for your camera. The Franken camera's case is made from laser cut acrylic plastic Inside is a circuit board, more typically used by engineers designing Android cell phones. It's connected to an image sensor and installed with software designed by the team to make experimenting with new photographic techniques simple. Uh, one great example is something called high dynamic range photography, where if your scene contains brights that are too bright or darks that are too dark for you to capture with a single shot, what you can do is take a sequence of shots at different exposure levels and then use some image processing to fuse those together into an output that's better than any of the inputs. One idea tested with the camera is the notion of using two flashes during a photo. The first flash gun strobes as the cards fly through the air, capturing their flight in shadowy images. The second flash gun fires at the end of the exposure, capturing a final, sharp, bright image of the cards. Having proven the benefits of the hackable approach, the Stanford group are already working on the next, more compact model. Uh, this is not something that we're expecting people to want to use. It's a hack together project by grad students. The next version, the F3, is going to be substantially more robust. Uh, it will include a DSLR sized image sensor as opposed to the uh, smaller cell phone sized image sensor we have in this one. And we're hoping to have that ready sometime this summer.